Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of Daily Origami for YouTube. Today we're going to do another fun traditional project here today and we're going to do a goldfish. Now this particular origami is really strongly based on the samurai helmet so the beginning steps are exactly the same and then there's just some small changes made later on to kind of uh, make it look like a goldfish. It is traditional but you use scissors so I warn you now scissors ah so if you don't want to use scissors don't do this video. <laughs> That's all I can tell you because this is the only way to do this so um, we're going to be using uh, standard origami paper 15 by 15 centimeter and um, of course you can use any size paper and it'll just give you a different size fishy when you're done so I'll tell you guys the dimensions when we're finished there's a couple different ways of cutting it so you can get little different variations of fish and I'll show you guys uh, two different versions of that so that you can have a little variety if you're making a whole bunch of little fishies for our special project so let's start off here with our paper I want to have the color side facing down Fold the paper in half, just take both of those opposite ends here so we can make a big triangle. Smooth straight down from the center, down to each of the edges so that we can get a nice big triangle. Turn it around so that the point and the open flaps is facing down. We're going to take both of these opposite sides and points and fold them straight down to that tip. So I can take the right side first, fold it down, making a nice big triangle flap here, and do the same thing with the left side as well. Smooth it out there. Once you've got both of those flaps folded down, now we're going to fold them back up again, creating even smaller little triangles. So folding up to that opposite side, do the same thing here. And I want to take each of these flaps and fold them out to reveal what will be the fins of my fish. So I'm going to create a crease that starts right down here. We're just pulling this out. And I want to create a 90 degree angle with this edge and this edge that I'm folding over here. So you'll know that's how far you need to fold out. Make sure that that angle right there is as close to 90 degrees as you can get it. And then I'll do this side too. Got both of those sides folded out. Take the very first layer of everything down here and we're going to fold it up so that we can kind of create uh, a line between where both of these little corners are. We're going to kind of go right to that if we can, about. This doesn't have to be perfect. And you can always choose to adjust this if you want, you know, the strip of white to be different widths on your fishy. You can change that, of course. You can kind of play with this a little bit. And then fold the next part up too so that you get this um, folded up snug against the edge that's behind here too. So it's all smoothed out. Flip it over and we're going to fold that back flap all the way up to the top too. Now this is the exact same steps for the samurai helmet and it, if you look here you can just pop it open and have a little helmet there if that's what you were making. But we're making a fish. So um, I have two here because I wanted to kind of just show you guys the variations to things first. Um, one way that we can do stuff uh, that, revol that involves two times of cutting is to just take your little helmet here that we've made so far and fold it in half. And from here what I want to do is I'm going to make two cuts and uh, I'm going to make one up here at the top and you can always play around with how big you make these cuts because it'll change kind of how fat your fish is, how you know um, narrow the uh, point is of where the fin comes out, all those things. So we can, you can kind of play around with it. But I'm just going to start off here by kind of creating something that's kind of parallel to this fin side that you see here. Just going from the white, going straight up. And then down here on both of these flaps, I want to kind of create a cut that goes to the point of the white and comes in. And you can, like I said, it doesn't really matter exactly where you do that, but I'll just pick an angle here. Okay, so I got both of those kind of cut off. Then if I open everything up here and then I open up stuff like a hat and I'm going to open it all the way up and smoosh it down the opposite way so that the things that were the side 
now become the middle point. So if I open things up here, put some pressure on it so it goes into the middle, make sure everything's nice and smoothed out here. So we have something that looks like this. And then I could just kind of choose an angle to create a crease down here so that I can uh, fold out my fin. And the angle that you do this uh, kind of determines a little bit of how the fish is going to look. I'm just going to start off by folding a little of this over so that it's a little easier to see. So I get a little bit of that folded over. And then I'm just going to use that to help me reverse this out. Now this can be a little tricky because what you want to do, I'm going to take this side of white and this side of white from either side. I don't want to tear right here, so you want to try to let things open up a little bit so that you can put a little pressure from behind to pop it out. Bring everything closed again, and then you've got your little fishy here. And you could tell, of course, depending on how far you made that angle, your, your tail would be leaning farther down or be more up, but that kind of gives you your little finished. This is the one version of the goldfish for this. Now, the other way is involves just, um, well, two cuts, but in the same spot, so I don't really think it counts. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to take this one, start off from the beginning to go ahead and just open up the hat and bring those opposite points together. Make sure this side gets a chance to smooth out first because there's a lot of paper over here. We want to make sure it's nice and smooth. Make sure those tips are lined up and get a nice clean edge over here and then smooth out everything else too. And then what we want to do is I'm going to cut right along this edge on both sides and you can kind of choose how far you want to do this. About two thirds of the way is good. And the easiest thing to do is to go ahead and kind of open up this pocket a little bit so that you can see that edge a little bit better. And then just kind of cut along that crease. And we'll do the same thing on this side too, trying to get it to about the same distance. It's not the end of the world if it's not the same distance. We can kind of open this up here. Then we can add the same kind of crease here to help us with folding everything out. And you can choose to make it parallel to the center, which I think kind of looks nice for this kind of version. Um, so I like to try to keep it kind of straight open it up and then again make sure you let everything really open up big when you do this because you don't want to tear anything put a little pressure there so that it pops out and then you can go ahead and smooth out the tail for your goldfish so this gives you kind of two different really variations of a goldfish um, but with the same base and just tiny little tweaking to make things look a little different there. Let me kind of tell you guys the dimensions of this guy here. I'll, I'll tell you the this bigger one here. He's going to be about eight and a half, depending on where you uh, choose how far to cut up to make his wing, of course. He's going to change how big he is. But uh, with the way I did mine, for example, he was eight and a half centimeters long and about... See how tall he is. Whoops. Seven and a half centimeters tall. Kind of gives you an idea if you're making greeting cards or something like that and you want to make them a certain size, you'll know the size to make them. But uh, that should give you our finished project for today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.